30, back to throw. Trips back, throws the bomb. Touchdown! Estaverde, quick stop, looking left, throwing into the end zone, touchdown! Hi, I'm Vinny Testaverde, and I want to welcome everyone to In the Pocket, presented by Jack Pocket. And my next guest is not only my good friend, but one of my favorite targets that I threw to, Wayne Corbett. Wayne, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Vinny. So, uh, first of all, how's the family? How's everybody doing? Family's good. Like I said, uh, Cage finishing his senior year in football. The little guy's playing soccer, and uh, Lukey's at Georgetown, so pretty busy with the kids and, uh, you know, doing some work with you guys and the Jets. I do have a question about Cade. I saw a picture, a side-by-side picture of you back in the playing days with the Jets and and him playing, uh, I'm assuming that's high school. I want to know your opinion. Who has the better flex, you or or, or your son? I don't know. He's he's still growing up. I might still have it. (laughs) I, I had it what I looked like. 15 years ago, but he, you know, he has it now. So I don't look like yeah, that. Well, if he keeps going, he'll be, he'll be sporting the green and white, just like his dad did. Hopefully tell me uh, about training camp. It was at Hofstra where you went to, to college. So yeah. maybe talk about that a little bit as well. Yeah. Well, obviously the first training camp is, you know, pretty much knowledge of uh, me going straight from school uh, with my backpack and my hat low and the Harry Fisher the <laughs> security guy wouldn't let me in. Cause he thought I was trying to get autographs. So that was my first taste of the NFL, and I thought, you know, it can't get any worse than this, you know. So that was my first experience. But every year is just getting back to with the guys and spending all the time. But the locker room, those are the best stories. And uh, just, you know, with the fans, it was, you know, at Hofstra, it was just a great experience because I had watch practices when I was in college. So, you know, that's my first memory, and uh, that's what I uh, treasure the most. Yeah. Uh, another question for you. Let me get it. So do you have a favorite route? that you ran, that you like to run? Yeah, it was the option route, you know, like a six yard route. I had a choice to go inside, outside or stay there. And, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing I tell people, you know, in these scene routes you ran, we would look at the coverage and I look at you, you look at me and I'm like, you see, do you see what I see? <laughs> like you can tell a play was gonna work, but people kind of didn't understand the, the, the co- connection we had, like, you knew what I was going to do before I even did it. So you were ready to throw it. I didn't have that connection with really anybody else. We, we connected a lot of times, uh, which brings me to uh, one of the trivia questions I have for you. So out of the uh, 41 career touchdowns that you have, how many do you think I threw to you? I don't know, maybe, you know, between 15 and 20. <laughs> yeah, 15, 15. All right, good. That's a good number. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little more than a, a third of your touchdowns. Uh, yeah. You know, which if we had a little more time together, we probably would have had a lot more, but uh, we would those are some memorable, memorable yeah. touchdowns. All right, Wayne, I got a question for you here. How did you get the nickname, the Green Lantern? Uh, that started with the, the big game we had down in Tampa uh, that we came back on with a halfback pass from Curtis which was the first pass I've ever seen in my life. But uh, after that game, you know, the game winner, just uh, some people started calling it the Green Lantern, and it, it kind of stuck. And uh, I guess it's one of the, the best nicknames I've had. Yeah, another question I have for you here is, uh, I want you to uh, talk about uh, the Monday Night Miracle game. You had such a, a great impact and made so many plays in that game. Uh, what, what do you remember best or most about that game? Uh, just, you know, how we, we went from having the worst half couldn't do anything right to, to couldn't do anything wrong going into the fourth quarter but uh, that is one of my favorite games I know we can t- connect it on two touchdowns and actually I, we tied it up with, with my with uh, your throw to me but I do remember the fans how crazy it was people were leaving and then as we started coming back it seemed like people were coming back in but only on the lower bowl and I tell you it was loud with this that you know about half the fans and it's been any other time I mean they they wanted to see a, a win that night, and, and we, uh, you know, provided that form, and definitely one of the, you know, highlights of my career. I just want to thank you for coming on the show today. Appreciate you being in the pocket, presented by Jack Pocket. Great to talk to you, man. As always. Same here, Wayne. Good to see you, pal.
Jackpocket lets you play all your favorite official state lottery games right on your phone. Win big while watching the Jets win big without missing any of the action. Play your favorite lottery games like Powerball and Mega Millions right from your couch in the comfort of your own home. Go to the App Store to download the app for free or visit jackpocket.com. Get your first Mega Million or Powerball ticket free using code JETS21. Must be 18 or older to play. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Please visit jackpocket.com slash TOS for full terms of service.